today we're just down at a local little cut and we're gonna fish some dry flies for some brown trout. Now this place is quite small and thin and it's got quite a lot of veg vegetation but it's got quite a good head of brownies so maybe we can get one for tea as well. But yeah we have to make our way down to a little spot and see if we can chuck some flies out. So I'm at the spot right now and I'm seeing quite a lot rising and they're rising for little brown, little brown flies. So what I've got on is I've got on this little, it's the, it's the closest thing I can imitate. It's a kind of a brown parachute fly with some rubber legs to uh, give a little bit of extra traction. So I'm going to rub some gink on there. And what the gink does is it helps the fly float so it doesn't sink in the current when it gets wet. See so if I can do a few casts and maybe get one. Alright, let's see what happens. First cast. I'm going to start by casting it. Casting it close. That's on the first cast. Nope. A bit further out. Yep, and that's a nice fish, that is a nice fish. What was that, fourth, fifth cast? Oh my god, he's, that is a nice brownie. On the dry. I don't want to lose him, I've only got three pound test, so. For this size of stream, he's a decent fish. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, he's a, he's a beast. That is my PB trout from the river. Can you see the size of that fish? <sighs> but guys, I am so stoked to catch that brown trout. It was what, fourth cast, fifth cast, you saw it all in the film and boom, he hit it. PB brown from a stream and you see, that's the kind of fish you would expect to catch one of these big waters, but you never know what's going to happen when you just go to these little streams and you know I fished this stream since I was seven years old so it's, it's been a good over a decade and I have never even seen a fish that big they've always been 10 inches 11 inches and but there's, there's a really good healthy population of fish here there's there's a lake and it feeds into the river and you know you get a lot of fish coming in every year so they never run out pretty much so it's good to take a few you can take a few if you want uh, legal size here is 10 inches, so I think he smashed a 10 inch, 10 inch ball right out the gate. But let's keep fishing. Maybe get another one. Maybe get a few, few more to show you guys. Yeah, you. So guys, that didn't take long and I managed this little eight and a half inch brown trout. I already have my big ones, so like I said, I'm just gonna put these little ones back. Ah, I got snagged in the tree on my drift. That sucks. I've lost my fly. Maybe it was a good thing because they've seemed to change the taste from the flies aren't brown anymore to white. So maybe I should chuck on a white fly or a gray fly. Something like that. Great parachute, try it. Good 
good to go. Bit of kink. Let's go fishing. Oh my god, I just had a massive trout come up and he just, he kind of sunk it, sunk it with his tail. That was a beast. That was like the, that's like the first one I caught. Yeah. Big fish. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like another stonker. Right yeah. I'm almost slack my face when you He's another stonking fish, boys. Oh, he's stripping, right? I only have three pound nylon, so I don't want to get too close. Oh, please don't come off, please don't come off. He's tired himself out in the current. Oh, there's one more run. Ah, yep. Don't get in the weeds. Don't get in the weeds. I can see that fly just barely in his lip too. Oh my god, that's just, that's He's in oh my god, it's another tank of a fish. Look at the size of that fish. For this stream, this is a beautiful fish. Look at that spot. I am well pleased with that. What a result. Two decent sized fish on the dry fly. I think it's about a pound and a half. I just want to talk about why that fish was so special to me. Because, you know, a lot of the time you can catch a one and a half pound fish and sure it's a nice fish, but you wouldn't think too much about it. And I probably wouldn't have thought too much about it if I also caught that same size of fish on the Clyde or the Tweed or one of the big waters. But the reason this fish was so special for me was because the river holds a lot of sentimental value. And to understand that, we have to start at the very beginning. So when I was about six or seven years old, we started fishing this river. Just, we stumbled across it one day and we were like, this looks good. So we started fishing it. And fast forward, a few months went by and we started to get to know the, the gentleman who managed the river and he was the one who introduced me to fly fishing. Now, that's why I wanted to dedicate this film to him because if it wasn't for Mr. Brian Hunter who introduced me to this sport, this video wouldn't be possible and I definitely wouldn't be the fisherman I am today. But also, in over a decade of fishing that river, I haven't even seen a fish that big. They've always been 10 inches, 12 inches, maybe even 13 inches, but never quite like that and to fish that river for so long and not even see a fish that big but on the day i bring my camera along just to film some dry fly action you know maybe catch a few eight inch fish ten inch fish even a 12 inch if i'm lucky and on that day to catch two of the biggest fish i have ever caught on a river before it's just phenomenal but after the second fish was caught the second big fish was caught there wasn't much going on, the fly hatch just stopped. And I managed to pull out this fish just in the little nymph. There's no fish in the house. Nymph. I was about to call it a session and on a little hairsy in there because on the swing. It's getting put back. So oh, after that little fish was caught and released. <laughs> 
nothing more was happening. They weren't taking dries, nips, wets, anything. So I think it was time to call it a session. So we took our fish, we went home and we weighed the fish, which ended up coming in at one and a half pounds each, which was a really good result. It was a really good dinner for all of us. So we cleaned the fish and we also picked them up.